All right, Grow Wild Champs happened on the weekend, and wow, oh wow, do we have some absolutely outrageous power data. So, Matteo Moritz won no power data, unfortunately. I didn't end up watching the race, but alas, it doesn't really matter because the numbers are so outrageous, I just can't believe it. So, well, we're going to go through rider versus rider. Well, we might as well start with second place. Florian Vermeersch, 373 normalised. Uh, for five hours almost, 6,000 calories, average power, 330, what? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And everyone's saying, oh, gravel races are hard. It's like, yeah, because on the road bike, you just get big draft. They never average 330, even Roubaix, which is probably the most similar, I'd say, because it's like, you know, you got a lot of hard, like, surfaces where there's not good draft. But, like, the thing that's different is, like, on the flat here, he's averaged 308 watts because they're only gone 38k an hour. Like, obviously, that's quick. I'm not saying it's not. But for, like, a road race, if it was this hard, it'd be going, like, 50. So you get fat draft. So that really is, like, for me at least, quite a big thing. First climb, 441 watts. Strava's removed weight, so I don't actually know how heavy these people are. Like, you can always Google how much they are. Like, for me, it should be about 75 would be my prediction. Again, 430 watts here. You can see, like, very spiky as well. But... Again, more selections here, 464 for six minutes. Like every climb is, is just a lot of watts, at least over 450 every time. Again, this climb here, 480 watts. What's really amazing though is like when that lead selection uh, was made, they just rolled through at like 340 normalized <laughs> for an hour and a half. And then got, and then these final climbs were real, real hard. Like so many KJs in, like way more kilojoules than you get in like a proper road race. You can see, so like 430 watts for like six minutes. Like, it's just crazy. Like, this whole nine minute climb they did um, at 430 watts. Obviously, then there was the descent as well. And then it was pretty much like, even then, 400 watts for the last two minutes. And the same with Connor Swift. Like, his numbers are almost all more outrageous. 380 normalized, five hours, just bonkers. Um, and again, like you can see here, he's at, he'd average 341 watts. Again, you're all going to at me and go, Shimano Pami. I go, yeah, but it's the best I can do, you know. We, we've got some SRAM ones coming up as well, but the SRAM boys didn't do as well. Uh, Shimano 123, so, you know, it is what it is. But, um, again, 454 watts here, 480 normalised. You can see there's big spikes in Connor Swift's power data, like really, really big spikes. Again, this is a bit more steady, 500 watts for six and a half minutes. Um, very, very strong. I mean, that is, that's a lot of watts. Here again, you know, you can see big power here, cracks out 522 watts for a minute and a half. Um, you know, again, it's, it's just every climb is really, really punchy. Um, and then again, in this bit here in, in the kind of one they're swapping off 330 normalized. So it just really is like one of those ones where it just suits like such a well tall guy. So we can look at Bala's file. Bala did well, fifth overall. Um, again, he looked really good. Um, and you can see 370 normalized on this climb. So a little bit less, you can see big spikes. Um, what will be interesting to see this first bit here again. You know, you can see only 270 normalized. Obviously, he's lighter. I doubt he's what he was at like 62. He could be like 64, 65, but still like he's doing not crazy amount of watts compared to the other guys. He's obviously on a SRAM power meter. So that, again, this is like more 260 average, 300 normalized. It is you're like, okay, that's that's less crazy. Maybe the power meter is, the Shimano power meter is read, read too high. You can see here though, he wasn't in that lead group there, I believe. He was only doing 256 normalised, and that's really where the, where the big difference was made. Um, you know, if we just take this segment, for example, you average 35 and a half, um, and these guys were doing 37.2. So you can see that that's actually quite a big difference, and that's really where he would say the watts, the, the watts on the climbs are obviously less because he weighs less, but that's really the difference. Uh, he was with Keegan Swinson then, uh, and Keegan Swinson's power data is actually really low. I don't really understand why. Um, I, I think he's heavy-ish. I mean, I don't think he's like, he's definitely not 60 kilos, but here he is here. Um, so again, his number's not as crazy. Why didn't he do well? Well, ultimately, he just doesn't have enough talent. Um, he's obviously very good at endurance racing, but this is not an endurance race. This is a classics race ridden off-road. Technically, he probably is better than almost all of them. Um, you know, the top guys, he said Valverde dropped him on the last climb, but he, he caught him on the descent. Not surprising um, because, you know, he's he's an uh, an ex excellent mountain biker, was a cross-country mountain biker. Again, see here, 260 normalized. This is like not the same, but I think this race really suits well tall guys. Five hours, not too long. Um, real high power demands and also just rapid. Um, and then we can look at um, Moritz again. We already saw. So... It, it is interesting, in my opinion, uh, Keegan Swinson kind of like 
how he was going. Uh, maybe not as well as people thought he would, but at the end of the day, still a good ride from him. Uh, but these boys were just just on a different level. Um, if we look at the actual actual results, uh, we can we can have a have a look at how everyone did because actually there was quite a bit of quite a bit of thing. Florian Vermeesh, Connor Swift, Valverde, Keegan Swinson. Quinton Hermans, Velasco, Wabanar. I mean, these guys, Schomberger, probably the only rogue one, I'd say. He's, like, obviously strong, but, you know, not a guy you'd expect to do that well, uh, necessarily, from the road. But all these guys, Demarkey, Wabanar, Velasco, these are all big namers. Quinton Hermans, very good on the cyclocross. So, yeah, again, super impressive, super impressive Watts. Um, if we look at his bike, it's this new Merida Silax. It's got... Classic Conti, Conti bars. It looks like he must have crashed. You can see his left knee here, as well as a shifter bar coming in. Running 50-34 Juris Di2. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty impressive from these guys. And it really goes to show that their just numbers are absolutely bonkers. Um, and uh, yeah, hard to get over how good they are. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.